Alrighty, welcome to self. This is our third week. And in the first week, we learn how to organize our thoughts. Then last week, we talked about how to challenge our negative thinking. And this week, we're going to go a little bit deeper and talk a little bit more about our emotional health. The thing is, holding on to the negative thoughts, feelings, experiences, memories, and events is related and associated with making us feel stressed and worried and anxious. It makes us feel sad. It makes us feel rejected. It makes us feel like we're failing. So having this negative thinking really hurts us. And it's important that we learn how to deal with these negative emotions. And I like to call these things sadness, loneliness, rejection, failure, stress, anxiety, all of those things are emotional injuries. And we all know how to take care of a physical injury. So if we get a cut, we know that we should wash it really well. And maybe we need a band-aid. Or if it's a really deep, really bad cut, we might even need stitches. So let me give you an example. You may have already gotten hurt before, maybe you needed stitches or you broke an arm and you needed to heal that. But months ago, Juliet, who's right here and she's letting me share this story, uh, she got a cut on her chin and it was a one centimeter cut. But I had to take her to the emergency room. We were there for two, three hours. She got stitched. Then we went home and we had to put a cream twice a day for seven days. And then after seven days, we had to go back to the doctor to take the stitches out. And then she told us to massage the scar for several months and then to take care of it uh, every time we went in the sun to put sunscreen on it and on and on. So you probably know that when we have a physical injury, often it doesn't heal, it doesn't get better overnight. Some of the injuries can take several days and it can take some care. And what do we know about taking care of our emotional injuries? How do we, what do we know? How much time do we spend taking care of our feelings of sadness or our anger or our stress, our anxiety, maybe our rejections or feelings of failure or our loneliness? Many of us, most of us don't know how to take care of those emotional injuries. So today we're going to meditate on this topic and we're going to think of ways that we can take care of our emotions. So let's get ready to meditate. So sit comfortably. I'm going to ring my bell and we're going to do this for just a minute. And after we do this meditation, you're going to reflect in your journal. So let's do this. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out, do it two more times. And now bring to mind the things that you like to do when you're not feeling so good, when Things are not going your way. Maybe you're feeling sad or mad or frustrated or stressed out or worried. Maybe when you feel lonely or rejected or you totally fail at something and you feel really badly about yourself. What are the things that you do that help you feel better? So bring those things to your mind. So maybe it would help you feel better to talk to a friend about it does perhaps talking to your family about help you maybe you go on a walk or you exercise and you let out some energy and maybe that helps you Sometimes we just need some space. Maybe we 
just need to read a book or sit and listen to music. Maybe it would help you to just meditate like we're doing right now. Or maybe even just drinking a glass of water, having a healthy snack might help you feel better. So think about the things that you usually do to make yourself feel better. You might be thinking of some negative things that you do when you're upset. Maybe you feel like yelling or throwing something or hurting someone or saying something mean. So that's normal. But what we're going to bring to you today, what we want to work on today is finding mindful more productive ways of handling our emotional challenges, those emotional injuries. Okay, you can take a big, big deep breath in again and let it out. And now you can pull out your journal. You can write the things that came to your mind or maybe the things that I suggested. And you can create a list of maybe five, six, ten things that would be mindful, positive things that would help you take care of yourself, take care of your emotional needs. Just like you take care of a physical injury, right? Just like you would take time to deal with a cut or a broken arm, you might need to take time and it might take a long time talking about it and going over it and processing it. And maybe you have to even check in with yourself twice a day for several days and really ask yourself, how am I doing? I just went through this rejection or failure or I've been feeling lonely lately how am I doing and take care of yourself check in a couple times a day maybe it's something that you have to work some of us have emotional things that we just know that we kind of have to work for on it for several days weeks even months so just open to this idea of you know acknowledging your emotional challenges and noticing throughout the day when you're going through emotional injuries. So that was the message for this week. So the challenge is for you to come up with those ideas of things you can do to help yourself feel better and then practice them. So one suggestion that I make is that you get a few popsicle sticks and that you write each one of those things on a popsicle stick. So maybe you write um, talking to a friend, then you write, you know, reading a book, listening to music, uh, going on a walk, doing yoga, meditating, having a healthy snack, having a glass of water, having a hug. So each popsicle stick will be for one of those things. And then you can have this jar in your house that you can go to when you're not feeling so good when you are upset you can actually pull something out of the jar and that will remind you that you have some tools that you actually have a few things you can do to take care of yourself already now let's do our spirit animal card and let's see what we get thinking of all of you and imagining you all in your home Already, we got the deer and the deer says, be kind to yourself and others. I love that because this week is about being kind to ourselves and taking care of ourselves. And I like that it says others 
because sometimes it's our sister or brother or parents or a friend who is going through an emotional hard time, an emotional injury, and we can actually help them feel better too using one of these tools that we just talked about today. Maybe that's something you can do this week as well. So I love this. I really like it. Um, Alrighty, that's um, what we have for this week. So you girls want to work on this? <laughs> okay. Um, so let me know how it goes for you. I would love to see your journal entry if you can send it to me and work on your list of things you can do to make yourself feel better. And that's it. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time. Namaste.